Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect cPanel to GitHub in 2024. So today we're delving into a crucial integration that can streamline your web development workflow, which is how to connect cPanel to GitHub in 2024. So if you're ready to enhance your collaborational or your collaboration and version control for your website, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of linking your cPanel to GitHub. So Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and access both your cPanel and GitHub. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. For me to access my cPanel, I'll use a website called Infinity uh, Free, I guess. Yeah, Infinity Free. So I'll go to my infinityfree.com. Because this will provide me with a free cPanel that I can access to. For you, just go and access your cPanel wherever it is. And of course, you will have to go and open a new tab. Go again to this URL, type github.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of both your cPanel provider and even GitHub. So let's start with GitHub. Just go to the top right corner, click on sign in to sign in to your account if you have an account. And if you don't, click on sign up to create a new account for your own. So as an example, for me, if I click here on sign in, I'll be able to simply sign in into my account. And if I don't have an account, I'll be able to simply click on create an account to create my account as simple as that. So I'll have to start with entering my email as an example. After that, click on continue. This email is invalid or taken yeah, um, because I have an account on this email. So let me just go and log in into that. I wanted to show you like how to create your account, but Seems like I already used this email, so let's just go and log in into it. So encourage password. Let's just go and do forget password. Let's enter my email again. Verify the account. Verify. Solve this panel. Uh, this like puzzle. Submit. And yeah, I guess all good. So save and choose password. So I'll have to go to my email provider, which is Gmail in here. So return to sign in because I will just change my or reset my password from here. So click on reset password. And from here, yeah, I should be able to reset my password. And yeah, I should do it in here. Or let me just check, just in case, if I have this password instead. Yeah, so it seems we don't even have to reset the password. I'll have just to get the code that they sent me. So this is the code 7437. So 7437. I guess 08, I'm not very sure of that. Yeah, it was 08. So yeah, now we are logged in into our GitHub account. Of course, we will have to do the same with our cPanel provider. I'll just go and log into my account, just so if you don't have an account. And of course, this is going to be my account. And this is going to be my cPanel or control panel. And here we are. So what do we need to do? Is simply go and create a new repository on GitHub. In your GitHub account, go and create a new repository. Make sure to, to have it public or private, whatever suits you. You can even give it a name. So for me, I'll just name it a test. And already exists on this account. So test zero. And click on create a new repository. As simple as that. Once you do so, once you create your new repository, of course, and this, of course, is going to be for this project. So, of course, this will serve as the central hub for your code base. Make sure to initiate the repository with a readme file to get started. Of course, you'll be able to import code into that. You'll be able to get started with GitHub Copilot and even invite some collaborators for that. So now what you'll need to do simply go within the cPanel or access the cPanel uh, file manager. So within the cPanel, navigate to the file manager. So, of course, you can uh, go and look for that in here as example. So let's look for file manager. As you can see, we have the online file manager or free FTP uh, software. Of course, if you have like me, even this option here of file manager, just go and click on that before even going to the through the cPanel. That will be cool. Of course, if you want to like go through the online uh, like uh, file manager, that's cool. That's already like also cool as you can see. So it will take you even to kind of the same thing. So if you want to click here on file manager to easy access that, that will be cool. Of course, that's if it's can if it's there in your provider. If it's not, just go to your control panel, look for file manager, and go and click on that. 
once you access your file manager of course this will your manage and upload your website file make sure to locate the root directory of your website typically the public html folder and then what you'll need to do simply go and click on uh, the git version control option so first of all we'll have to go here the files for your website should be uploaded here as example so you'll be able to do everything here if you want to this index html and yeah this is uh, the hca access or ht access override will be here and do not upload uh, the files here so make sure to go and upload this inside like uh, this folder in here so upload everything that you want in here so what you'll need to do in here, just go down in here and simply make sure to go and click on fetch file or uh, import or something. And you'll have to enter the URL of the file or the, your repository. So we would like to get to the repository of our GitHub. So here we'll have to choose uh, imports and paste the URL of your GitHub repository. And this is essential, close your GitHub repository into your cPanel account. So go back to your repository as an example and simply this is of course for SSH and this is uh, for uh, this is of course for HTTPS and this is for SSH so gets whatever suits you of course so I'll just get the URL in here and simply go and put that in here and click on OK. So in a known error occurred the remote file fetch maybe there is a problem at the moment but of course it's fine. Maybe uh, let's just go as example create a new file or new folder. I'll just name it tests or I'll name it GitHub. Why not? And of course, inside this folder, let's just try as an example to do the same thing again and see if everything is working. Okay, it's not working. So maybe they have a problem at the moment and I'll not be able to do so. But for you, you'll have to go and click on get version control option in cPanel. And there you'll find like an option to create and import a repository. And you can choose, of course, import, paste the URL of your repository of your GitHub repository. And this is essential to clone, of course, your GitHub repository for your cPanel account. And after that, simply, of course, you will have to, after importing the repository, you have the option to pull changes from GitHub. And this ensures that uh, your, your cPanel managed file are in sync, of course, with the code base on GitHub. And it's vital step for collaborative development. And even make sure, make changes, of course, to your website files using the cPanel file manager. Uh, after making changes, return to the Git version control in cPanel, commit your changes and push them back to your Git repository to keep everything up to date. Of course, make sure to even take advantage of branching in Git for collaborative work create branches, uh, make changes, and merge them back into the main branch. And this is a powerful, of course, feature for team development and project organization. And make sure to stay monitoring and uh, pull in requests every time. GitHub, of course, provides a robust set of tools for managing your code base and collaborating with your team. So that's going to be it for me today. For you, there you have it. You've successfully learned how to connect cPanel to GitHub. Uh, thanks for joining me today. This integration will empower you to do everything that you want. If you like this video, make sure to leave, uh, to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.